Hello and welcome to Dr. Nora's Clinic. In today's episode, I'll be showing all of you budding doctors and medical students out there how to use your stethoscope to listen to your heart, including where to put your stethoscope and what the different areas of the heart sound like. Love dub, love dub. That is right, our heart actually makes two noises, but how does it do that? Well, to understand this better, we need to see inside of the heart. Inside of our heart, we have four different valves that control the blood flow inside of our heart. And those valves are the aortic valve, the pulmonary valve, the tricuspid valve, and the mitral valve. But what are valves? Well, if we imagine valves to be like a leaf almost, they sort of contract and they open and they contract and they open. And that allows the blood to flow through the different chambers of the heart, through the ventricles to the atria and vice versa. Okay, so the aortic and the pulmonary valves are responsible for pushing blood outside and they create the second heart sound. The tricuspid and the mitral valve are responsible for the blood going from the atria to the ventricles and they create the first heart sound, the lub. So you have lub dub, lub dub, lub dub, lub dub when those valves contract. Well, as doctors, we like to use our stethoscope to listen to the chest in four different areas. And the reason being is because it helps us to understand what the health of those valves are doing. For example, if that valve isn't working very well, you may end up with something called a murmur, which is where the valve may be leaking or it may be stiff and it's not pushing that blood out. So it gives a bit of a turbulent flow of blood, which gives a whooshing noise. So sometimes you may hear a heart sound rather than it being lub dub, lub dub, lub dub. It may be like lub dub shh, lub dub shh, lub dub shh. So it's really important for us to understand where the valves sit in relation to our chest when we're doing our stethoscope examination. All right, but where exactly are those valves? Where do they sit and how do I use my stethoscope to listen to it? Now, a few tips when you are using your stethoscope, make sure that you place the earpieces into your ears in this manner. The reason being is because the air needs to travel into your eardrums through the ear canal like so. Another top tip is when you are listening to the mitral valve, when you're listening to the carotid artery, for example, you always like to use the bell of the stethoscope, which is the smaller of the two sides of your stethoscope. Now, some stethoscopes will have an option where you can turn it, in which case you turn it 180 degrees until you hear a click. And some other modern stethoscopes out there will actually have both the diaphragm and the bell active at all times. For this part, I'm gonna need a model. Model here. Perfect, let's get listening to the heart. The first area that we're going to listen to is the aortic valve area, which corresponds to the aortic valve. And now this is best heard over the second intercostal space right of the sternal border, which translates as the second rib space right of the breastbone. Let's take a listen. Beautiful, isn't it? The second place we're gonna to listen to is the pulmonic valve area, which is located on the second intercostal space left of the sternal border. This area corresponds to the pulmonary valve. Let's take a listen. Both the aortic valve and the pulmonary valve control the blood flow from the ventricles to the rest of the body. And when they contract, they create the second heart sound that we hear, the dub, 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 dub. Now it's time to listen to the tricuspid valve. This is best heard over the fourth intercostal space left of the sternal border. And now finally, it's time to listen to the mitral valve area. This corresponds to the mitral valve, which is best heard over the fifth intercostal space midclavicular line, which translates into the middle of the collarbone, fifth intercostal space. Let's take a listen.
this area can also be listened to using the bell of the stethoscope which detects low frequency sounds. Let's take a listen. Both the tricuspid and the mitral valve control blood flow from the atria to the ventricles and when they contract they create that first heart sound that you can hear, the lub, 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 lub. And as you heard throughout all four different areas you can hear that beautiful sound that we hear, the lub dub, lub dub, lub dub, lub dub. And that helps to give us an indication how the heart valves are doing, if they're working well and if they're contracting as they should be. And it's important for doctors to know this as well because if there are any added heart sounds then it may be an indication for murmurs. It sounded beautiful. To be honest with you, listening to it made me feel so relaxed and I could definitely fall asleep to that noise. Thank you very much, Mr. Model. <laughs> Thanks for watching and as always, if you have any questions or suggestions, please drop me a line in the comment section below and stay tuned for my next video where I'll be analyzing how the heart sounds during rest and when it's stimulated. Take care and stay healthy.